Okay, here we got Joe Fiji's. He just ran 555 miles. I think that's about right. In six day, and this is your first six day. Sure is. Yeah, it's a absolutely uh, incredible experience. Um, you know, I did the three day last year and didn't uh, quite know how the six day would uh, uh, stand out compared to three day. It's uh, it's in a whole nother world, a whole nother experience. But uh, having uh, Giannis. Uh, Kuz here uh, just made all the difference in the world. Um, I I've never uh, experienced uh, a competitor like uh, like Giannis. It, it was uh, you know, pe people might not understand that to think a, a six-day race is going to be kind of boring. And uh, from, at least for me, from start to finish was strategy. Um, and uh, never a dull moment. Really. How much of a mental game is it? it I'd say uh, 95%. I mean, it was more mental than it was physical. Although, um, I mean, it was uh, it was tough physically. Yeah, uh, be flexible. I had an issue with my tendon, uh, Achilles tendon. So right now, it's uh, swollen. Uh, on day two, it was, became swollen, and I, and I asked my crew chief, um, Rich Schick, hey, do I need, can I keep going, because it hurt, it hurt bad, and he said, it's just going to be sore, it's going to hurt, but there's no permanent damage, uh, so I continued on, and then yesterday, um, felt a sharp pop, same area, uh, and uh, I thought that was it. Uh, but the good news was it, it, it was, um, it actually loosened up the area. But, uh, I mean, to, to a short answer is you just, even compared to the 24 hour race, there's just so much more involved physically uh, with the six day event, which was what I found out, or the three day event. I, mean, I saw you just sitting behind Giannis at points. Was that yeah. was that one of your kind of token strategies? Uh, you know, it really wasn't. Um, it wasn't. Everything was flexible. Uh, Mike Dobies had mapped out a strategy saying you need to run. He, they let me sleep to give him a. Uh, give, I, I had a 10 mile. Uh, advantage, and they let me sleep to uh, whittle it down to five miles. And then they said, if you can run the next 12 hours at a, at a 16 minute pace, Giannis has to keep up a 14 minute pace to beat you. And so, so part of that was stay behind Giannis and maintain that so you, you can, as each lap that goes by, you're going to have that advantage. On it. And, and, and frankly, I don't appreciate it too much. It has to get me a little bit frustrated, which I understand completely. It's, it, you know, but I was going to do what I had to do to win, and um, uh, it was. Uh, I, I think I think it paid off. It, 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 that's the whole other thing. Is, is I went into with one strategy of sleep, and Giannis is is unreal. He's, he's he, he he does not he can thrive without sleeping. I can. I, you know, that was part of the, the difference between, I think, his way of running and mine is I, is I, I run hard uh, and then get to sleep, run hard, uh, whereas he just just stays out there, all costs. Um, but, uh, so, yeah, I mean, that's a good ob observation that you saw there. Um. Giannis talks about going to like a different state of mind or a different state of being when he's out there. Have you experienced anything like that? Or you like an out of body experience when you're out there? Or hallucinations? You know, for, for, yeah, I'll just say yes. Um, that when doing the, the, even the 24, but more so the three day and the, the six day, you, you just, you, you've got to put yourself into maintaining the, uh, Intensity and just being able to say, "Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this for for three hours or four hours." I'm gonna do blocks. And, and at least for me, is just making mental games and and uh, 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 yeah, definitely, definitely, it's, it's it's mental more than not that. 
you know I'm not the fastest of a, of a runner. You know, I'm a three hour marathon. So why am I better than some of the other runners you know, out here that are a hell of a lot faster? Than I, I think part of it may be the mental you know, aspect of it. Um, I'm, I'm a collection attorney that deals with you know, litigants, uh, regulators, uh, and uh, this is to me refreshing from a mental standpoint to be out there. For not, the only thing I think about is running hard for six days or three days or 24 hours. And uh, maybe that's maybe maybe I do get some advantage from that. You know, and then you know the other thing is is I think as the race goes, the length of the race goes on, I get a little bit stronger because I'm looking forward to, to the, you know, seeing some. I mean, this might sound bad, but seeing somebody start wobbling late at night. That's the time to, to, that, that's when I get excited. Is knowing that you know that there's something that's going to you, you be able to take advantage of from, from a mental uh, uh, strategy. Do you see Giannis struggling out there? At a bunch oh, of absolutely. But every time I saw him struggling, I saw him recover, and, and then he dropped out. I was yelling at Mike and Rich, saying, "What's going on here? He's dropping the hammer. Uh, I, if if I, he, he if he goes one more lap, he's going to drop." Me. And don't I think it's just you know it, it was in, in my favor. It seemed like the second I said that he he backed off. It had gone one more lap. That would have been it. That would have been you know I would have been toast. So I mean it was to me that was uh, it just, you know a lot of things turned out. And he has a world class crew. I mean he he has handlers that. Uh, uh, really know what they're doing and they just stuck with it. I mean, anybody that has not watched him in the six days, he's just missing something. It really is a neat, a neat uh, event. And so what was your training like leading up to this event? Did you, you know, do different? Uh, no. Uh, I, I am not a high, you know, even in the 24-hour running, uh, I'm a 60 to 90 mile marathon type, dedicated, uh, dedicated to hill repeats, uh, a little bit of uh, speed work. Um, I did a little bit of yoga recently to try to, I'm 48 years old, so I'm uh, lacking some flexibility, so I should try that a little bit. But, you know, it's bread and butter, running 101. You know, nothing with me. You do mostly flat roads besides your hill workouts, or? Uh, you know, I'll do, I, no, nothing specialized with surface. I'll, I'll, with a uh, rich chick, I'll do a little bit of mountain training. Uh, at Kennesaw Mountain, but uh, but you know it's just it's just uh, regular, what I would say traditional marathon type training. I, I did a marathon a couple weeks ago, and it wasn't. It was uh, 305 uh, Rocket City, which I was proud of because that was my first marathon. When I was 15. I did the same thing. Like I said, uh, you know, for whatever reason, I, I seem to be a, a decent uh, multi-day runner. Uh, so go, go figure. So how long have you been running? Uh, I'm, I'm going, I guess I started when I was 15, uh, and uh, I've had spurts of activity or inactivity for 10 year periods. I ran the Boston Marathon back in 96 uh, when the 100 was running, but usually it's goal oriented that um, I'm looking for. So how was the surface out here? Did the track give you any problems? I know at times there was quite a bit of dust out there. What, what was your impression of the course? You know, I, 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 this is my third year in a row being here. I think it's, it's a phenomenal setting. Is it the fastest uh, course? No. I mean, that the dust, I, I think, gives you, you know, uh, you know, John Olson was, he did a 14 hour, I think, 100 miles. So it's, it's fast enough and he, he was, uh, pacing himself for uh, you know, the 48, so you know I can see him doing you know low 13s out here. So it's a fast course, and heck, y'all run out here, you know, flying around the track. But um, but it 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 does make first a little bit of a difficult from a breathing standpoint. After six days, my chest hurts, my lungs hurt, so on. But uh, carrying your body for six days, you know, very little sleep. Now, what about diet? Do you do anything special day to day or anything during the race that works well for you? 
Uh, you know, my crew guys, I mean, they're like, uh, I mean, I had everything, anything. And, and that's the great thing about this race is y'all do a fantastic job with the variety of food as well as with the restaurants being close by. I had two, two buckets of Kentucky Fried Chicken, original crispy, and, and, uh, and what else? Burgers. I, I mean, I, I, I'm not too much of a healthy eater, as you can hear, but, um, you know, it's always day one I have issues where I don't eat anything solid. It's just liquid. Starting day two, I can eat everything and anything you have. Uh, soy, uh, uh, sushi, I was eating some sushi, you know, the bean burritos, um, the, the thick leaves, grape leaves, I guess. Uh, uh, you know, so the variety and that one, I mean, it's just, it's an amazing uh, variety of food. How much sleep do you figure you got in the six days? Um, rich, what would you say? Okay, yeah. Um, you know, I came in there with a game plan of I was going to go the first 48 hours without sleeping and then two hours every 12, two hours of sleep every 12 hours thereafter. And it, it did not happen that way. It was, a, it, was, it was a lot more sleep than I had planned on and uh, a lot more freedom too. But you know, like I said, you have to be flexible running with, at least competing with another runner. You've got to play to sometimes your strength and be able to adapt. So. Did you have any hallucinations out there? Or did you kind of go down and sleep before that happened? Oh yeah, yeah, no, no, uh, no hallucinations, no. No, I, I, no, I, I not for it, yeah. So tell us a little bit about the six days in the dome. Oh, uh, you know, that, uh, I was hoping to be able to uh, go 578s, two middlemen's uh, uh, unofficial record. Um, and I knew it was going to be a little bit tough. I'm not a, I'm not a hot weather runner. And again, it's only, it's ideal temperatures for, for Arizona being low 70s. But for me, the dry heat feels like it's 85 degrees. And I've had that the last two years. So I knew it was going to be a challenge. Some people don't like the, they feel it's a little bit chilly in the evening. I think it's great. I mean, it's, it's to me, the perfect temperature. But the beauty of the dome uh, in Alaska is it's a 400 meter track. Uh, the weather is going to be 60 degree controlled temperature. And I, I, I think it, I actually have a shot at uh, maybe 600 uh, miles out there on the track, barring any uh, major issues. So can you tell us how that came about? Yeah, I, uh, I, I researched, I, I like to research a lot. And I, I said, here's how a lot of, a lot of the older six-day events and even ultra marathon events were set on indoor courses and I said you know what indoor course no, I don't want to do a 200 meter wooden track or something short I wonder if there's any 400 meter track well there was, turns out to be there's a couple one in Ottawa uh, one in I think in Salt Lake City a couple colleges um, and then there's one in Alaska and so I tried the, the college campuses. Either they want an outrageous sum of money, or scheduling is impossible. So uh, Alaska uh, turns out uh, $4,500 for six days, and I had some friends that I had that believed in me, and I said I want to try to, to break the American record, and uh, so they were able to kick in some money, and uh, you know so I'm. It's, uh, Trying to, uh, we're, we're going to have it. We're having it in August, and uh, and anyone can enter. Right? Any, anyone can enter. It's not an elite thing. It's uh, it's going to be exactly what you had out here. It's going to be uh, an event where anybody can run the 24, 48, uh, or, or the six day. We have some great talent coming out there, uh, and uh, but like I said, you don't have to be the elite. And yeah, I got the, the other idea was Desert Solstice which is my other favorite event, uh, just because that's, I mean, that's uh, where I got my 24-hour PR, I got my 100-mile PR, something about uh, Alaska and your events that I really enjoy. Anything else you want to add? 
to hey, I'm going right I'm just, uh, I'm just beat up, but I uh, uh, really, really enjoyed it. It was, it was just a phenomenal event. Hey, thank you so much. All right, well, congratulations. All the best in your recovery. Great. All right. Thank you.